Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance. And this resistance video is a sponsored video being sponsored by a shitty boy for Alex. I hope I said his name right. And here's Alex's story. And it has audio attached as well. Hi, Ollie. Enjoying the channel has helped me massively. I cannot believe the simil similarities between some of the recorded rages. Me and Jody were only together for roughly 18 months, but it was enough to send me crashing down into hell. The recording relates to money that she provided me so I could retrain as a gas engineer and better provide for our daughter. She, has, she had just fallen pregnant. Anyway, when I was due to start my work placement, she suddenly asked me to leave the house. Great timing. I owned a house when we got together, and in with 12, when within 12 months I was declaring myself homeless. So now the endless battle to see my little girl begins. You'll hear in the recordings. You'll hear her in the recordings. It fills me with dread to hear the mother shouting and swearing while holding our daughter. The first six months were bliss, and I thought I had dropped the jackpot. I hope you can use the recording to help others to understand. Peace, brother Alex. Okay. Um, Alex is over in the UK. So, it's a little garbled at first, and I thought I wasn't going to be able to use it, but then it clears up and it's really just the, uh, the accents that might have a little difficult, at least, at least for me, understanding. But, here we go. Okay, she means either like she has doesn't explain it she just says you treat her like she feels like you're against her treating her like shit first of all she's I don't know how you listen to her because she has one of the most annoying she has that she has that UK female accent that just 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 is like nails on a chalkboard for a lot of Americans I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a certain part of of, of um 
of England or if it's Scottish, because I have a hard time understanding Scottish and Welsh. But her voice is like nails on a chalkboard. But I'm asking, if you think that way, isn't it? You know, I'm asking that maybe you develop other jobs, or maybe you do this, and you're not, you're making it really clear that, you know, you thought your mum, I think it's a wicked phrase, you know, all of it. I just think that people with any mum to, to, to say, to behave like that, you don't do that no matter what. Like, what, what was the money of doing that? To just upset other people? Yeah. People you've never met? Did you not see it being wrong or anything? What are we, what are we, what are we talking about now? We're talking about the way I've been treated and the way your mother behaved. My mother? Yeah. Where did the mother come from? She hasn't still given you anything you've done. See, this is all in her head. Obviously, you're not, you're fighting about something else. This is about something else with her. This is her just, she has you on the ropes and she she's just weakening you. She's weakening you with body shots for whatever this is really about. You know, what, are you thinking this is irrelevant? What I'm trying to say is that, yeah, I keep giving you the opportunity to, to say something different to me and say, like, as if behave towards me in a way that, like, you do respect me, you know, you work, you know, you, you see it in a different way, like, you know, I gave you all that money, you lived here, you know, I'm treated with me badly, and I'm still getting treated as if I've done something wrong. You know. Why am I making you feel like you're wrong? Well, that's how you treat me, yeah. You keep saying it like, well, and Wait, he just asked her, what am I doing to treat you wrong? She has no answer. You need it. Your mum needed to stay the other side of the story. Why it's cracking you up. This girl, listen, Alex, this girl has no answers for anything in her life. It's about maximum distance and aggravation to wear you down. I don't know how you listen to that. And it isn't necessarily against, it's not against anybody from the UK or whatever. It's that particular type where I don't know where it's from. I don't know if it's Scottish, Welsh, or a certain part of the UK. Women who talk like that in the UK, because I'll tell you this. Narcissism has run rampant through Europe, and it has about a 40-year head start, okay? And this is what you get, this, I, I, I don't know what that is. I don't want, I, I don't know. There's a lot in her voice that I'm hearing, okay? So let, let's just keep going. Me and you, that's the only thing that we we're not important. Okay. Right. Sure. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Well, I'm just making sure that that's the case. Giving you another opportunity. So I get it. You, you know, it's irrelevant. You don't. It, the, your view of me is that, isn't it? There's not one bit of you that's got you. have got no. You don't say anything. Every time I mention the money and how you might want to pay it back, about paying for Violet. You, you don't even respond. Mm -hmm. I actually had a fatigue, a, a word from you mm -hmm. when I mentioned this. So you have nothing to say on that matter, no? Nothing to change. You have nothing, when, nothing to change. Once what, once what, is the, what is the actual status then? Once I've qualified, nothing. Once I've qualified, I'll start paying again. Then uh, yeah. I'll start paying, start paying So, exactly. This is about maximum aggravation. This is about the money she wants. She gave you money to get certified. You're not even certified yet, so how are you supposed to get the job without the certification? There's more going on in this relationship. She's just looking for a reason to move you out. What about that you like to click on? And all the other money, it's, it's a bit of extra money that you lived off me for three months. Yeah, well, that, would, that would be agreement, wouldn't it? No, no agreement. The agreement was, yeah, you can pay me back. I'm trying to work out how much you were spending non-stop and how much your petrol was costing and how much it was costing and oh, the things like that. So I'd like, it would be really appreciated when it was written down, you know, a, a, an agreement to repay me for, for, for you living off me as soon as you found out I had some savings, you know? Here's your problem, Alex. Here's your problem. You have a child with this woman, you're living together, you had a house of your own. 
and everything's a t everything's on a tally sheet. This isn't how a relationship works. You're living off me, I'm living off you. You, think, you know what? People lose their jobs, things happen, and you do things together as a couple, as a family. This woman has no fucking concept of family. Or family's only as long as she wants it to be. It's unbelievable how they just keep tally sheets like this. You're the father of her child here, and she's treating you like you're an employee that she fronted some kind of salary to. Did you get the fucking, so are you getting the, the certification when you went to get it? Did you get it for the family? Or were you going to bring your, the, the paycheck and keep it for yourself that you get from that certification? Or was it going to benefit the, her and then the entire family? What a fucking twat. That's what you did. And, and you've been very angry about it, that you're not able to do that thing to be your behaviour. I'm just terrified, again, giving you the opportunity, and I thought maybe when you came to see at the hospital and me, you would, you, you would think, like, oh, God, I've treated this guy to me really horribly. No, I care about much. You see how she just goes on and on, how you should think? She wants to tell you what to think, what to do, when to do it, how to do it, do it fast. She just goes on and on and on. She's unbearable, dude. She's unbearable. You're the biggest piece of shit because you wanted to get a job before you started discussing being able to pay her back. This is this is how she's been. This is how this woman's been wronged, huh? I'm offering for you to still have the opportunity to see your daughter. I don't want any involvement with it. I don't want you anywhere near me until it goes through whatever it is to go through about paying me back. I find you and your family disgusting people. You're not right. Really, really not right. That's just how I think. And I've given you the opportunity again and again to prove you're different. And I really hope you will be different because I'm gutted for Violet. But you're not, you're sick in the fucking head. And you're so mean and cruel and twisted. Someone has done something for you like what I've done. And this fucking twat is talking about telling him. Now you're all hearing. I mean, she's, and we're eight minutes and 24 seconds into a 16 and a half minute phone call. I think maybe he's, he's spoken for maybe a minute so far. The rest of the phone call is her telling him what a horrible piece of shit he is, and now we can't see his daughter. You know, if you're going to be respectful about it, 
right? So that's what we're offering, because you fucking can't get along with me, and you think that I'm going to spend any time around you with that opinion of me after you've behaved. And the way you go about... After you behave, like, like, like you're a child, dude. Like, you're not even human, this girl. That thing, you're just disgusting. Like, just, again, now, talking to you then, what you wrote yesterday. He's disgusting. This is because he wants to find a job. Oh, the, the nerve of this girl. It just makes you anything I've got to say. And you, you, you're just like, oh, why? I'm not even going to talk to you. I want to go see my daughter. Yeah, okay, so I'm off doing that. Right, if you don't like right. you, do you not, do, so is that not something you're interested in? Violet, okay. Yeah, she's fine. What's she doing? She's on my boob. Okay. She, are you at home yet? Are you still hospital? So you, you're, you're yelling at her father as you're nursing her. That's wonderful. I wonder what, I know UK family court is just as fucked up as here, if not worse, for what women get away with over in, in those courts over there. Okay? But I guarantee you, if she said that here, that she's screaming at you like that with her, with her, while breastfeeding the kid, that'd be a problem. She sounds. No, um, okay. So have I made it clear? And that is why I keep giving the opportunity to show that maybe I could trust you. And, and I'm thinking that you're not this person who seems to hate me and just be rude to me and doesn't want to pay me back and begrudge me. Even I gave you loads of money. You, you, you asked me, oh, I didn't want you to do that cause. I was terrified of, of um, you not working and spending all my savings. I kept going on about it, but you did. And you never once offered them back. And I keep giving you the opportunity to offer you, you know, to, to be different, to apologize for your mother's horrendous behavior. And you so he has to apologize because you don't get along with his mother. I wonder what the real story is here, because you, because this girl, you sound horrible. You sound like a horrible person. Yes. When I went to that open day for the car, you, you yes. sent me a message saying, oh, I see you about it. Yeah, well, of course, we're together, and you said that's what you wanted to do. But I'm saying, I didn't come and look at I've got a looking at it. Why don't you do this? You know, you, you asked. And you said, Now it's we spent 40 grand. Okay. Okay. Everything is her, his fault. And none of it, every, so she contributed to spending 40 grand, but it's all his fault that it happened. No responsibility from this spoiled little twat. She's a spoiled little twat. And I don't even think this is even about the money at this point. It's about, she needs to be queen fucking B, Right? Okay, and I don't know what the deal is with your mother, but I'm sure you're caught into a you got caught into a fight between the two of them. Forty grand, right? You refused to ask that. Yeah, me and you in a relationship. I had forty thousand pounds worth of savings, and I also had seven hundred pounds a month something coming in. What did you have since November last year? 
what did you live off? How, how I have to say this to you? It's just, how I have to declare it and ask and, and mention it, and all you want to do is just put me down and say, no, what you're saying is, you're saying that it's like a child. Like, that's the reality. Disagreeing with the amount is not putting you down. Do you see? Like, this entitled little twat, okay? You can't even disagree. If you disagree with me, you're putting me down. Ugh. This is why I have so many people who come to me in, in Europe. So many Europeans. Because this shit is rampant over there. It's just so awful. Anyway, you seem to think that, you know, it doesn't matter that you can fucking hate me, treat me like shit. Your mother is just... Uh, uh, it's because she knows she's hateable. See, she's projecting how she thinks you should feel on you. Because she knows she's hateable. She knows she's hateable. I mean, it worries me. It makes me go sick in my stomach. That my little... It comes from, comes from anywhere related to that behavior. It's disgusting. It's nothing related to you seeing your daughter. She's just spiteful and disgusting. She uses the words disgusting and horrible and she uses the worst descriptive words on you because you disagree with facts that's how abusive this girl is that's how entitled this little twat is Imagine listening to this song. Imagine listening. You hear him, you hear her. She's talking about herself, Alex. She is projecting everything on about herself onto you. Everything about herself onto you. This is while she's breastfeeding the baby. If you weren't angry and resentful to me, you'd be like, oh, wow, well, thanks, Joe. Surely anyone would be like, if there was no anger or hate there, you'd be like, wow, this person fucking spent all their money on she's trying spiraling. to tell the life of us. I used it to do she's this. Not she's not getting her way, she's losing her mind. Nothing, you didn't have to think about nothing, just use their card for everything. And, and surely, if you know, there was no anger or hate, Disgusting. Smile! What, you agree with that behavior? 
I guarantee you anybody who disagrees with her is sick in the head and disgusting. Her entire life. This is her. And at the end of the day, because she knows she's hateable. She knows. That's why she keeps using hate. Hey, she's talking about herself through all of this. I'm giving you the option to see Marla through my dad. I've been very kind of my dad. And you can go to the corn mill maybe once every two weeks. Or when it suits my dad, if you want to see the baby more, obviously we're going to try and accommodate that. I hate the idea of it. So I see it. If I try playing you again, why am I so far thinking you're a different human being than you are? And it makes me feel sick in the stomach every time I speak to you and realise it just... I just don't know what I'm doing. I must have just been mad. And that's it. That's what we've got to offer. And my dad says you can speak to him from now on. If you don't like it, then that's it. All right? Mm -hmm. then, then go and do what you need to do. Get your mum. Get your mum at it. Go on, get your mum. Get her to bring up someone else and be vile. The fucking vile witch. What an horrible piece of work. And that's the end of that. Vile. Who's the vile witch here? Anybody who disagrees with this girl is disgusting, is a monster, is hateful. Shh. This isn't even about the money. This is all about her being a hateable person. Maybe your mother put her in her place. Maybe your mother stepped over the line. But this shit is... It, it, if she broke up but you kicked you out and you're not together... She, want, she just wants you to tell her. Because this is what burns her. From morning till night. Because she's got to look in the, in the mirror. At the end of the day, when she hungs up that phone, she's got to look in the mirror. She sees that hateable person that deserves to be hated. And all she wants is for you to tell her, no, it's, it, you're right. It's all, and to lift that guilt from her, which she is undeserving of. I'm sure if this is what you listened to for 18, I don't know how you listened, you lasted 18 goddamn months. But I'll tell you this, this recording should be used in court to show she's unstable, because she is unstable. That, that, that is unstable. And it's all because the narcissist knows they're hateable. That's what that's about. So I hope it works out. You get some kind of parenting plan through a court in the UK or wherever you're at, okay? Because you will not be able to ever work with this woman amicably because she is a spoiled little entitled twat who hates herself and knows she deserves to be hated. That's her. That's what all the screaming is. That's what all the projection is. Back on to you. Anybody who disagrees with her is disgusting and horrible and is hateful. She doesn't know the meaning of any of it, which, unless... She knows the meaning of disgusting and hateful and horrible only when she looks in the mirror. And that's her problem. She's trying to project it on everyone else and blame everyone else for her things. You both spent 40,000 uh, pounds or grand, 40 grand. But yet it's all your fault that it happened. You went to go get a certificate, which you haven't even finished yet, so you can make more money. But it's not even about... The money, the money's the weapon. The money's the weapon because because her, your mother put her in her place maybe or maybe your mother's a problem and it just wasn't handled the way she wanted it handled. I don't think so though, based on her. There is no making that girl happy and I guarantee your father only goes along with her because he's afraid of her too. He don't want to deal with it. He don't want to deal with that. Understand it's all about her. The narcissist knows they're hateable. So, thank you, Alex, for sending the audio and your story. Thank you to uh, Shitty Boy for, for sponsoring. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comments section below. I hope you all were able to understand that as well, the accents. And it was a little staticky as well. I hope, I hope most of you are able to make it out. Um, 
Remember, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype chat, phone call, have a private video made, or Facebook chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this one for someone who can't afford it, or just sponsor the channel in general, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. And if you're still unclear, wait for the instructional video link to pop up on the screen at the end of this video to walk you through all of that. Please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.